Hi, this is David Campman from South Dakota, and you're watching Chris Strub's Road Trip Recall, Episode 8. Get watching. I had to go back to Greenville. No, really. You see, I left Binghamton on May 29th, 2014, and I left. Like, I left. All my stuff was packed up, most of it was in my car, sold everything else. When I left Binghamton, there was no going back. And so, when my trip was over, I was evaluating where I wanted to move to. This was a very sort of formative point in my life. I knew that going around the country, I was going to get a chance to see so many different places, meet so many different people, ideally find an awesome job somewhere, right? But there was something in my head that said I had to go back to Greenville. After that first trip, I spent two solid weeks at my uncle's cabin, York Beach in Maine, which was actually the very, well, not the first, the second place that I went to um, on that first trip. And it was very much my cabin in the woods moment. I spent a lot of time thinking deeply about where I wanted to go, what I wanted to do, and, and who I wanted to become. It had it down to between two places, Portland, Oregon, and Greenville, South Carolina. And as I went back and forth and I wrote out all the benefits and, you know, looked at the different areas and everything, this one story just kept standing out of my mind. I had to go back to Greenville, South Carolina. Had to go back to Greenville. So, I wasn't even really supposed to go to Greenville in the first place. If you look on the t-shirts the that I had printed and you look on the map that I had for that summer, I was going to go to Columbia, South Carolina and then just keep going. I went to Columbia, and no offense to Columbia, it's a great place, but uh, I was bored. It's like, there's got to be more to this state. So I drove up 85 and I went to Greenville and I loved it. It was beautiful. And I wanted to go see Clemson. I wanted to go check out their football field. Now this was during the summer and uh, there was no football activities going on. Unlike today, actually Clemson is playing right now. I'll put the date right here. So they're working their way towards another uh, ACC championship starting today. So before I left the hotel in Greenville to head west, which was the opposite direction of where I was going at this point on the trip, I took one last photo at the hotel. And so to take that photo, at the hotel, quality in there, um, right on Route 85. Um, I had a selfie stick with me, and I use a selfie stick all summer long, and I'm trying to do this with one hand now. But what I did to take that picture was I took the camera off and I put it on the roof of my car, I put it on the trunk of my car. And I took a photo with 85 in the background, Greenville, blah, 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 blah. And I took the camera, put the camera back in the car, so, of course, I still had the camera. The camera was safe, but the stick, the stick, it turns out, I left it on the roof of my car. I left the stick up there and drove off and headed to Clemson. So I get in the car, I drive west out to Clemson, and uh, I get there, I see the football field, oh, the swamp, awesome. So cool, I'm so excited get out there and uh, reach in the back seat, go to get the camera, and there's no stick. And it's like, oh, damn, like, this sucks. Like, and this, this sounds silly and this, this sounds overblown, but when you're traveling alone, um, sometimes your possessions, and especially something that is so critical to what you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis, if you've ever seen Castaway, right, with Tom Hanks, this stick was like my Wilson. And I very much felt that way. I felt that emotion in the moment. Wilson! I immediately called the hotel and asked if they had it. And the woman was like, no, but if it turns up, we'll give you a call. I was like, Sigh. So I'm out at Clemson, and I ended up taking a few pictures uh, without the stick, which... It doesn't sound like all that big a deal, right? First world problems, but it bothered me. It bothered me a lot. So here's here's what those pictures look like.
And so I'm getting back on the highway, trying to figure out where I'm going next. The trip's almost over at this point. And uh, I called the hotel back. And the woman goes, yeah, yeah, we found it in the parking lot. And my eyes just lit up. And I wasn't planning on going back to Greenville. And that's where the thought came back into my mind for the very first time. I have to go back to Greenville. I have to go back to Greenville to get the selfie stick that they found in the parking lot, thankfully. I'm sure I ran it over, but I mean, this thing's pretty damn sturdy. Hashtag not sponsored uh, by QuickPod, but um, it is a good product. And um, I thought about that story. I thought about going back to Greenville when I was making the decision where I want to live. And you know, sometimes it's the littlest things that get you. And when I was making up my mind between Portland and Greenville, South Carolina, I knew that I had to go back to Greenville. And you know, everything happens for a reason. And I'm convinced that, as the first chapter of my book says, everything works out perfectly. That I'm in Greenville. I didn't get that amazing job that I was looking for because if I had, I probably wouldn't have gone on the second trip that again started in Greenville. I wouldn't have written this book. I probably wouldn't be here having this conversation with you. I wouldn't have met a lot of you awesome people that I've met over the last couple years. So um, I had to go back to Greenville. Hopefully I'll get to go back to Greenville again. Um, but even though everything didn't quite work out the way I planned it to, um, going back to Greenville ended up being a hugely successful and awesome part of my life journey. Check out teamstrub.com for more information about 50 States, 100 Days the Book. There's also a blog from 2014 that writes all about all these different experiences, including a blog specifically about why I had to go back to Greenville. Um, you can check out 50 States, 100 Days the Book on Amazon. Get your signed copy now. Hit me up. And most importantly, make sure you hit that subscribe button here on YouTube so you don't miss a single episode of Road Trip Recall. I'll be back real soon with episode number nine. Peace out for now, guys.